not only is it the ultimate female superhero, Wonder Woman, um, and I got to the opportunity to play a part where I get to teach Wonder Woman to be a warrior. Come on. <laughs> you know, it was a hoot. It's like they always say, oh, you know, being a mother, don't ever try to be the tutor to your child. It should be an aunt or a friend. And that's the basis of this connection between Diana and Antiope is the sister of the queen who I play. You, you want to be able to adhere to the law and the law is be ethical and be honest and forthright and do as your sister demands. But in this instance, I think Antiope has a sixth sense that war is ensuing and we need to prepare the young. And she wants to make sure she's fully prepared for the battle. The art of war, physically, it's a dance. And I think it's conveyed beautifully in the movie with all of the high tech that we have available to us to enhance. But um, watching women wield a sword like that on a horse, I mean, I was lucky I got to be the ambidextrous fighter. Well, I'm a big fan of Patty Jenkins. I, I loved uh, her job as a director, and I adore her monster. I think she's very brave and, and a fantastic movie. And the fact that she was directing this movie about uh, a woman that happens to be a hero uh, was, a, I think, was a very nice uh, approach, and, and it could help to give uh, a different point of view about what normally a hero movie could be. Ludendorff is a, is a general uh, that is very committed to win this war, but it's not going well. So he's trying to do his best and he somehow contact Maru, my character, Dr. Poison, to help him to develop a new formula that will be very, very horrible and kill a lot of people. So it's like the first time the war and the science come together. It happened, unfortunately, on the first world war and it's happening in this movie. We are that crazy, impossible couple that come together to create the most disgusting weapon ever. When Wonder Woman comes in and um, first meets Etta, she makes it clear that she sees Etta and she sees her for something else other than the secretary who goes where he goes and does what he wants her to do, him to do. And, um, and she makes her feel worthy. And I think that being noticed, like with anyone in life, actually gives you some confidence that maybe um, you're not worthless. The world of superheroes, it's so fabulous and I, I'm not terribly sure why we are so fascinated with it. Um, for, for me, I, sometimes we can say it's because we really want to be those people, those superheroes. I feel it um, actually reminds us of who we really are. I, I think that really deep down that we are all magnificent beings and we get lost and we get disconnected along the way and um, someone like Wonder Woman comes along and tells us that it's okay to be nice and that it's okay to be kind and compassionate and you don't have to convince other people that you are of your own opinion in order for you to be okay. One of the great things that Etta gets to work with Steve Trevors is because Steve is not your typical man in that he does entrust her with things that in 1918 probably wouldn't have been entrusted to a secretary of somebody who is quite important. Um, as you see in the movie, 
she has been entrusted with the mission that they are secretly on. Um, eventually, further down the line, Sir Patrick entrusts her. Um, that's that's quite good going, actually. Um, so I think that that he needs her just as much as she needs that because now she's been given responsibility that she wouldn't have normally been given before. And equally, he has somebody who can probably fly under the radar a bit, um, so he can trust the person who no one's really looking at. Um, so I quite like that about that. Hey there, movie fans! It's Vale here with a quick movie fact for you. Did you know that in the movie The Usual Suspects, Verba King says the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing men he didn't exist. This quote is from the French poet Charles Baudelaire, and it also appears in another movie featuring Gabriel Byrne and Kevin Pollack. End of days. That's all for today. Subscribe and ring the notification bell to always receive the latest trailers the moment they are online. Bye-bye, see you next time.